Whenever you drag and drop a foot module, it breaks the entire leg setup. In this case, the left leg breaks the right leg also at the same time. So it doesn't matter how you do it, whenever you drag and drop a foot rig module into the socket for the ball bone, it's going to break it, either from the left to the right or the right to the left. So what I've been looking for, it's, um, it's the logical way to construct this now that I have been reading through the official control rig guide. So there are some things there that made me uh, realize that we should do the following. First of all, don't ever forget to name your modules, otherwise you will not know where you are. And the second thing that we're going to do, as you can see right here, I already have my left leg uh, with the modular rig controls. Now, the modular rig controls are also limited, therefore it is um, my recommendation that you do learn how to do the actual control rigs. But for now, let's just uh, pretend that this is all working and it's okay. So let's do the same thing, but for the right leg. We don't want to mirror, we don't want to do any of that. Right now, you can see we only have the IK control for this. We don't have the, the ball rotation for this part of the foot. So what we're going to do is, in this case, I'm going to go into the leg R, right click, create a new module, and it's going to ask you, pick your rig module class. It seems that doing it from here works better than the drag and drop workflow from here. So once you get here, just choose foot, select, and as you can see the foot doesn't have a name you can name it later and you will also notice that you have root and column here two little dots so this is exactly what we want to recreate and you can see that I have already solved it by calling root semicolon spine and then targeting it the right socket so that's what we're going to do we're going to come here you're gonna open it it's gonna allow you to write you're gonna write root semicolon and it's going to show you uh, all of the things that start with that name. So in my case, it's going to be root right foot. In this case, the only socket that allows me to do that is the tie R socket and the foot R socket. So this is what we want to target. I'm going to select the foot R socket, which was created automatically when the leg was created. And now you can see that your control is right there. You can see the red circle there and the red circle here which are the controllers and it's correctly done. This is Unreal Engine 5.5.4. So if you're doing it in a previous version and it's not working because there are glitches here whenever you target or write your name then that's something that was fixed on 5.5.4. Uh, so yeah, now you have your controls. So if you raise your leg, and grab the this controller, the foot, the toe, or the end toe, whatever you want to call this, uh, you can see that it works now. And one last thing, don't forget to put this uh, in front of your knees. For that, you need to come to Details, select it there, and then come here into Details. Scroll down until you see Pole Vector Position. It says 1, use 0 0.3. In this case, this is the optimal setup for rig to U5 rigs. So again, I'm going to select the leg R, and then, and then I'm going to use 0 0.3, and now you correctly display those uh, two poles in front of the leg. You can also place the rest of the modules, such as the fingers, or any other new elements, because you can create, and that's the thing with the modular setup, you can create extra controls and extra sockets for many other parts. I can create extra sockets for the bullet belt and other accessories like the hat that she has but that is beyond this scope. I just wanted to show you how you can correctly create your modular control rig using rig to U5. Thank you.